everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rika Chatta. So for this video I'll be talking about a um, few things that I like to do before I start writing a novel. Um, so I would like to give a shout out to Burnman13 who has asked me to do this video and he's one of my good friends of mine and he is awesome when he does poems and he had a really good podcast. So um, anyway, so thank you for that. <laughs> Um, so the first thing I like to do is building your character in your uh, storyline. So when you're building a character, you might want to think about if this character is good or uh, villainized. And um, for example, I did a character named Ariella who is evil and good, but she also um, doesn't like to be replaced because she wants to be a guardian forever. And so. But I won't do um, a spoiler it's on the new Guardian Ballerina book that will be out next year, which I'm very excited about. Also, I did a character named Elsa Clarice White, who protects the two castles from two kingdoms from her grandmothers, Rosalind and Melanie. And she protects the people she cares about. Um, so, what genres are you writing about? So if you're writing a murder mystery or thriller or based on a true event or adventure um, or romance even, um, that's very cool. Um, keep at it and I know you can do this. Um, and yeah, if you're very passionate about it, then that's all that matters. Um, yeah, I think if you are coming up with a new book, let me know because I'll be on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and I can't wait to get the copy of it. So, um, number three is if you um, like to write in your journals, I think it's very handy when you're writing all your characters in your um, storylines. And especially if you have like a notebook that has a lot of line paper in it. and if you want to keep a copy on your tablet or your laptop that you're using, then that's good. And that way you don't lose a copy. Sometimes I get in panic mode when I forget like where I put my stuff. So yeah, I just I think it's very handy when when you want to have a copy of things. And that way you don't lose it. Um, number four, when you're doing a writing schedule, you might want to think about what time of day that you have time for. For example, like I do writing sessions for 15 to 20 minutes in the morning and the afternoon to um, write my novels that I'm writing. And sometimes I like to take a break between because my wrists get very sore, especially when I'm doing a crocheting blanket that my mom's trying to help me with. And um, yeah, um, that way your hands get a little break time, but then you can also do other hobbies that you enjoy. So, um, the um, I like to read my stories out loud. Um, I find like if I read them out loud, then I get another idea to put in my book. So that's awesome. Um, and yeah, I think it's very helpful. And then that way if you make a mistake, then you can correct it or something like that. Um, uh, if you're wanting to join a writing group or a writing community, there's a really good one that I really like and it's on Twitter. Um, there's a lot of kind authors that are out there that are trying to help others out when they're writing their first novels like Katie Moran and Burnman13 and I'm on there as well and they give really good advice. So um, yeah, uh, if you're doing a self-publishing site, there's two good ones that I know of so far like Lulu Books or site only um, does publishing. But you can publish cookbooks, um, uh, uh, books in different genres and calendars, and um, also they do cookbooks. And they, um, you can get like um, copy of your book from the U.S. To, and they can bring it to wherever you are in the country. The country, like if you're in Canada or United States, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah. Um, I think Amazon does a self-publishing site as well and that's also a good one and they do it in Canada and the US as well and I think some other parts of country so that's pretty cool but then um, yeah and I like to do my own cover page as well so I have um, my own cover page for each of my books like Guardian Ballerina and Elsa Saga. Um, another thing I like to do is um, I am doing like um, a first person 
is I'm thinking about the uh, character's um, journey. Like, for example, I thought about Elsa, and I put her thoughts and, and feelings into her storyline that when she's trying to find out who she is, but then I put a part of me in with her where we both have experienced, um, you know, um, protecting the people we care about, but also um, we support family and friends, and, and she's very kind and caring and thoughtful, and she puts everyone's needs before her, her own, which is very cool. And um, anyways, um, so yeah, if you have any advice that you would like to ask me, um, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube as well, and I don't mind answering them at all. And if you have any ideas for my next video, let me know, and um, I'll be happy to do it. Um, but anyways, I really hope this video helps, and, um, and yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.